free music. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Carlton Maybell, aka True Music, aka C the Truth, aka C Major. And today I'm going to show you how to play Best Part by Daniel Caesar featuring her. Um, this song is not very complex, but what makes it really come to life is how you improvise with it. And since I can't necessarily teach you how to improvise, um, I'm going to break down the chords in three different ways so that you can play through those three different ways. And it'll make it sound like you're improvising and it'll also bring the song to life uh, for those who can't improvise. So um i hope i explained that well but we're gonna get right into this tutorial if you like these kinds of videos please leave a like um and subscribe to the channel so let's get into the tutorial i'm gonna play some of this song for you first and then i'm gonna show you how to play it it sounds like this song so let's get into the tutorial <clears throat> uh, this song is really based around four chords uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you those four basic chords and then i'll show you how to mix it up a little bit so you're gonna start right here on a d major seven nine G d major seven nine Boom. left hand is gonna do a d in the bass right hand is gonna do a c sharp e f sharp d major seven nine boom then you're gonna go to an A minor seven, just right here. Left hand doing an A and an E in the bass. Right hand doing a, a G, C, E. All right, this is your A minor seven. And what you can do if you want to, and I do this every once in a while, is I add this A in that chord as well. So I'll go, all right? I don't want people to just see me do that and say, oh, he's playing it different and he's showing us how to play it. So uh, you might see me add that in there every once in a while. but. Either way, it's still an A minor 7. It's going to sound basically the same. So that's your second chord. Uh, then you're going to go to a G major 7, 9, which is right here. Left hand is going to do a G in the bass. Right hand is going to do an F sharp, A, B, D. Okay, then you're going to go to your fourth chord, which is a B flat major 7, which is right here. All right, this chord, your left hand is going to do a B flat in the bass. And your right hand is going to do an F, A, D, F. Okay, that's your fourth chord. Um, and then, just for a little bit of flair, you're going to add this fifth chord. All right, now this song, like I said, is only based around four chords, but you can add this fifth chord to kind of lead you back in. And so this fifth chord is going to be a G minor two. So your left hand is going to stay on this B flat. But your right hand is going to hit an A, D, G. So you'll go like this. All right. So you hit your fourth chord. Then you hit this G minor 2. And it takes you back up to the top. Okay. So I hope I didn't confuse you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this for you. That, that ends um, the first variation of how you can play these chords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play what I just taught you. Just to eliminate all the confusion. It'll sound like this. Is the first variation of how you can play this song <clears throat> so let's go into the second variation the second variation sounds like this all 
right, so that is the second variation of how you can play the chords. A uh, real quick tip, by the way, um, you can, if you learned the first variation, you could literally just play that and be done. Um, that is the whole song. So you can play that, you can perform it, you can uh, recite it, however you want. So really, if you're, if you feel confident that hey, that's enough, then you can leave now, and and that is, you'll have the song down pat. But if you want to kind of push further, this is the second part. So let's break down how you can play the second variation. Um, of these chords. So you're gonna start on the same chord, your D major 7 9. Left hand doing a D in the bass, right hand doing an A, C sharp, E, F sharp. We'll hit that two times. And then you're gonna go to your second chord, which is an A minor 9, which is up here. Okay, now if you wanna lead into this chord, you can hit this high D and lead you in. Sometimes that's a little difficult to do, so you don't have to, you know, sometimes you can just come right to this chord. So you can go. Then go right to the chord. Or you could do this, just to make sure that you all aren't confused. Or you could do this. Right? That was with the lead in, with the with the D going into the A minor 9. But anyways, your second chord is an A minor 9. Left hand doing an A, E, A. Right hand doing a C, E, G, B. Okay, you're going to hit that twice. And then you're going to hit an A minor 11 which is this. So your right hand stays the exact same, still hitting a C, E, G, B, but your left hand does a D and an A together. All right? And that leads you into your G major 7, 9, which is right here. So your left hand's gonna be doing a G in the bass, and your right hand's gonna be doing an A, B, D, F sharp. You can hit that twice. And then, to finish, you're gonna go What that is, your right hand is going to hit an F, then a G, then it's going to go to your B major 7 9, B flat major 7 9, I'm sorry. With your left hand doing a B flat in the bass, right hand doing a C, D, F, A. All right, then what you're going to do is your right hand is going to take this A at the top and put it at the bottom. So you're going to go. And then you're going to hit your G minor 2 which is your right hand doing an A, D, G. And your left hand is on this B flat th that whole time, so you're gonna go. Okay, and that finishes the second variation of how you can play the song. So I'm gonna play the second variation one last time slowly to make sure that I eliminate all the confusion. It sounds like this. Okay, that finishes the second variation of how you can play this song. And then we have a third variation, which is very simple. Um, I'm going to play that for you now. It sounds like this. That's the third variation, okay? And so what changes in this variation is your first chord. Instead of hitting it like this... You're gonna take this F sharp and you're gonna put it at the bottom. All right, so that's your first chord. Left hand doing a D in the bass. Right hand doing an F sharp, A, C sharp, E. You're gonna hit that twice. Then you're gonna go to your A minor seven, which is the same. Left hand doing an A and an E. Right hand doing a G, C, E, okay? And then your third chord changes a little bit. It's the same chord, but it's just, in, uh, it's kind of like, the, the notes are switched around a little bit. So this is your second chord. Then you want to go to your third chord, which is your G major 7 9. What we're changing is instead of hitting it like this, we're going to add this F sharp to the top. Okay. And what we what we can do before we come to this chord is we can lead into it with this A natural. So if you're in your second chord, which is right here, you can lead into your third chord by hitting this A natural. So you're going to go. You know what I'm saying? So you're on your second chord. You're going to lead in to your third chord. All right? Then you're going to finish off the exact same way you finish off in the second variation. So you're going to go. Okay? So variation two and variation three have the exact same ending. Basically, um, your right hand's going to hit an F, then a G, 
Mm-hmm. And then it's going to come into this B flat major 7 9 chord where your left hand's on a B flat, right hand's on a C, D, F, A. All right, then this A natural, you're going to bring it to the bottom. You're going to hit the chord again. And then you finish on your G minor 2 where your left hand's going to hit an A, D, G. And that finishes this uh, 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 version 3 of this chord progression. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play version 3 for you very slowly uh, just to make sure that there's no confusion. So it sounds like this. And that is version 3 of how you can play the chords. So those are all three versions of how you can play the chords, but there's also a lot more that you can do with this song. I mean, even when I play it, um, I add more of a flow, flowiness to it. So instead of just hitting the chords, I might go. saying like just play with it a little bit you know play with the notes a little bit it'll make it sound a lot more full um but i hope that this tutorial was helpful a lot of people ask for it and i try to kind of mix it up by giving different uh variations <clears throat> of how you can play the chords my, my throat is bothering me a little bit so excuse me but that is how the song sounds so i hope you all enjoyed it uh please leave your request in the comment section please like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel if you like the content and i will see you all in next week's video peace